Full Arnum, the secret tiki ingredient. Now, sure, you can go out and buy it, but honestly, I just don't think it's that good. You can also make your own at home, but traditional recipes take days to make. But what if we could make a Falernum that is rich and flavorful and rivals the best in under five minutes? Well, today on Mixing Up Tiki, I'm gonna show you how to do just that. So let's do this. Now, a little while back, I did a deep dive onto Falernum and I'll leave a link in the description below and a card right up here. In that video, I compared four different Falernums, John D. Taylor's Velvet Falernum, the Bitter Truth Company's Golden Falernum, Falernum number nine, plus the Tropical Standard Falernum. Now, while I did pick Tropical Standard as the winner, there were things about each of them that I just didn't like and think could be improved upon. The John D. Taylor was fine. It wasn't super flavorful and it kind of just fell flat. The Bitter Truth Company Golden Falernum was delicious, but it had a unique flavor that didn't really fit the flavor profile of the other three. Therefore, swapping it out in recipes just didn't seem like it made sense. The Florinum number nine, also good, but way too gingery. And then the Tropical Standard Florinum, yeah, I picked it the winner because I like the taste the best, but let's be honest, it's a very complicated, long, drawn out process to make the Tropical Standard Florinum. Plus, the homemade ones, the Florinum number nine and the Tropical Standard Florinum aren't shelf stable. So there's definitely room for improvement here. So I set out on the adventure to create an easy to make, super delicious and shelf stable Florinum at home. I scoured the internet looking at different recipes. I reached out to modern Tiki Day bartenders like Jason Alexander and Brian Maxwell. I took the best parts of the four that I tasted in that video and I tried to come up with a recipe that I think hits all the marks. So to make my five minute Falernum, you are going to need rum, water, sugar, cloves, limes, gum arabic, citric acid, and almond extract. When I set out to make this Florinum, I wanted it to be super easy and very customizable. So with that in mind, we're essentially gonna be creating two different parts. The first is going to be a syrup, and the second is going to be an infused rum. Now we combine the two together, this recipe will yield 375 milliliters of Falernum. The Florinum that I designed right now for today's episode is about 25% ABV and 33 bricks or about the same bricks or sweetness level as the liqueur, which is what I consider my Falernums. So the first thing we're gonna make is our syrup. And this is where the first customization comes into play. You get to control how much sweetness is in your Falernum. Now, John D. Taylor, Falernum number nine, Tropical Standard Falernum, they sit at about 50 bricks, which is the same sweetness as simple syrup. If you want yours to be that, then great. I'll show you how. If you want it to be less sweet, like I prefer, so that I can have better control over the sweetness in my cocktails, well, I'll show you how to do that too. Essentially, what we're gonna be doing is creating a either simple, or rich, either a one-to-one -one or a two-to-one gum syrup. That's really about it. So if you want your falernum to be 50 bricks or the same sweetness level as John D. Taylor or as simple syrup, what you're gonna be doing is creating a rich gum syrup. If you want yours to be less sweet, about 33 bricks, which puts it more in line with liqueurs, then what you're gonna to wanna to do is make a simple or a one-to-one -one gum syrup, which is what I'm gonna be showing you how to do today. To make our gum syrup in a blender, combine 125 milliliters of water. Then add 125 grams of sugar. Now, if you want to make a rich gum syrup, what you're gonna need is 93.75 milliliters of water and 187.5 grams of sugar. Next, add 20 grams of gum arabic and one gram of citric acid. Now, if you choose to go with a 50 bricks falernum or a rich gum syrup, you can probably forego the gum arabic, honestly, because the extra sugar will add viscosity. However, feel free to add it either way. It's gonna make a delicious falernum. Now we're going to blend until all the ingredients are incorporated and the sugar has dissolved. For me, that's about two minutes. Now all we need to do is grab our sanitized bottle and pour in. All right, now onto the next part of our falernum. And here comes the next big decision that you need to make, and that is what you want your final ABV to be. Now for me, I'm gonna have this be a final ABV of about 25%, which again, puts it in line with most liqueurs. If you want yours to be higher, go with a different rum. If you want it to be lower, go with a different rum. I'm going with Tiki Lover's White. Now, here's how this works. Essentially, if you want your finished Falernum to be 25% ABV, you need a rum that is double that ABV, which is why I chose Tiki Lover's White because it's 50% ABV. Now, one of the whole points of making this Falernum was to make it shelf stable. So in order to do that, it needs to be at least 16% ABV, which means that you cannot use a rum that is less than 32% ABV. The good news is most rums clock in at a minimum of 40% ABV, putting you at a finished product of 20% ABV. So 
you should be pretty safe there. Especially if you want to use something like a Bahan rum, which would be more traditional to our Falernums. If that's the case, then something like a Dorley's three year, which is 40% ABV, will give you a 20% ABV finished product, and that will be perfect for shelf stability. To make our infused rum in a blender, add 187.5 milliliters or 6.25 ounces of your rum. Add one gram of whole cloves, eight grams of lime peels, don't worry about the pith, five grams of chopped ginger, don't worry about peeling it, and one milliliter or 20 drops of almond extract. Now we're gonna blend this on high until all the components are finely diced. Now we're gonna strain this through a nut milk bag. Now at this point, if you wanted to, you could filter this through a paper coffee filter. However, that's obviously just gonna take a lot longer. What that's gonna do is catch any extra sediment and it's actually gonna help uh, stop this settling that happens from the ginger in the bottom of your florin, which is completely normal. From here, we're gonna add back in the gum syrup, give it a nice stir to incorporate and pour into our finished bottle. And so there you have it. My five minute falernum, which is about 25% ABV and 33 bricks. Honestly, I don't know if that took me about five minutes, but the name sounded cool and it's definitely a lot shorter than the traditional recipes. So let's give it a try. On the nose, you get a lot of that ginger and that lime with a tiny little bit of the clove on the back end. that is bright and gingery and clove and lime and the texture on it is fantastic because of that gum syrup it is honestly out of all of the florinums that i have made obviously my favorite well because i made it i designed it now that's all well and good but you didn't come here just to learn how to make florinum to sip on though you could but i doubt that's why you're here i bet you're here because you want to know how this florinum does in cocktails and that's what we're gonna be doing right now. We're actually gonna be trying this, this Florinum in two separate cocktails. We're gonna be making Blackbeard's Ghost and the Iron Ranger. Blackbeard's Ghost was created by Jeff the Beach Bomb Berry in 1994. He modeled this cocktail after the Pirate Grog from the Blackbeard's Galley, which was a restaurant in Newport Beach, California, which closed in the 80s. To make Blackbeard's Ghost, you will need lightly aged rum, aged Demerara rum, apricot liqueur, Falernum, orange juice, lemon juice, and aromatic bitters. In a shaking tin, add two dashes of aromatic bitters. One ounce or 30 milliliters of lemon juice. One and a half ounces or 45 milliliters of orange juice. One ounce or 30 milliliters of our five minute falernum. Half an ounce or 15 milliliters of apricot liqueur half an ounce or 15 milliliters of aged Demerara rum. One and a half ounces or 45 milliliters of lightly aged rum. Add cube dice to your shaking tin. And shake for about eight to 10 seconds. Grab a chilled Collins glass and open pour in. Garnish with some pineapple fronds and a lemon wheel. Serve with a straw. And then you have Jeff the Beach from Berries, Blackbeard's Ghost. Let's give it a try. So, oddly enough, I don't typically like orange juice in cocktails. However, with the whole ounce of Falernum, it's actually doing a wonderful job of highlighting the orange juice. This is a spicy, juicy, fruity cocktail. Honestly, the booze are a little lost. Not surprising with an ounce of orange juice and an ounce of falernum. Those are actually your predominant flavors, but it's not bad. Do I think I could drink a lot of these? Probably not, it's a lot of sugar, but I definitely think it would be enjoyable on a hot summer day sitting on the beach. The Iron Ranger was created by Eric Castro in 2018 when he was at Raised by Wolves. He says that the inspiration for this cocktail came from the fact that we don't see bourbon or rye in a lot of modern tiki cocktails. However, their flavor profiles actually pair super well with these tropical flavors, and I tend to agree. So to make the Iron Ranger, you will need bourbon, falernum, simple syrup, pineapple juice, lemon juice, and aromatic bitters. 
In your shaking tin, add two dashes of aromatic bitters. Three quarters of an ounce or 22.5 milliliters of lemon juice. One ounce or 30 milliliters of pineapple juice. Half an ounce or 15 milliliters of simple syrup. Half an ounce or 15 milliliters of our five minute falernum. Two ounces or 16 milliliters of bourbon. Add some pebble ice to our shaking tin. And whip shake for about five to eight seconds. Grab a chilled Collins glass and open pour in. Top with more pebble ice. Garnish with a mint sprig. And serve with a straw. And there we have Eric Castro's Iron Ranger. Let's give it a try. That is a delectable cocktail. If you like bourbon and you like tiki drinks, I highly recommend you make this one. The bourbon comes through nicely. The bourbon that I did use is a little bit lower proof than what Eric suggests. And honestly, if I had a higher proof bourbon, it would definitely up this cocktail from 10 to 11. The falernum and the pineapple do so well playing together. And those are super complemented by that kind of caramel note that you get from the bourbon. Not in a bad way, it sounds weird, but it's absolutely delicious. So yeah, it's absolutely incredible. Thanks, Eric. All right, so that's it for today's video. We learned how to make falernum in about five minutes, maybe. I don't know, somebody time it, let me know. Anyway, we also made it using two different cocktails. We made Jeff the Beach Berry's Blackbeard's Ghost, which uses a whole ounce of falernum. That was a lot, it was a spicy cocktail. And Eric Castro's cocktail, the Iron Ranger, which uses bourbon as its base, and it is absolutely delicious. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, click that notification bell. Follow me over on Instagram and TikTok at Mixing Up Tiki. And until next time, you guys know the deal. Coley Maluna. Uh, I don't have any cocktails. Now I do. Akali Maluna. <laughs>